Okay, Jeff's opinion of a Waffle House? Karen's opinion of a Waffle House? Hey, time for a quick Ask Jeff before I uh, get on a plane to Atlanta here. And you can send your questions, ask at jeffshore.com. And the question is this, what do I do if I can't pronounce my customer's name? <laughs> That's a really interesting question, and it happens a lot. We deal with people from a lot of different societies, a lot of different cultures, and sometimes they have names that might be common in their culture, not so much in ours. And I want to encourage you uh, with this advice, and it's going to sound a little weird, but stay with me. Figure it out, okay? Figure it out. It is worth the, the benefit to the relationship with your customer to figure out how to pronounce their name. So slow down and ask them, can you, can you say that very slowly for me? Because I, I sometimes struggle uh, hearing names. Put it on you, not on them, and have a little fun with it. Sound it out syllable by syllable and then repeat it a couple of times. Say, I want to make sure I get this right. Did I get that right? Now look, you might be looking and say, that feels a little awkward, but think about it from your customer's perspective. They are going through their life with this name that is difficult at times uh, to be able to uh, pronounce for other people. And so they just go, oh yeah, whatever, I'll just call you dude. But now you have the chance to stand out and really deepen the relationship because you were willing to take the time in order to learn it. So be patient, sound it out, have some fun with it, and you'll build the relationship and you'll have a much, much better chance at getting that sale. I'm at the airport in Atlanta and just when I thought I had everything I needed for travel, I come across these. That's right, headphones with cat ears. All right, somebody asked me a question here uh, recently, I thought this was a really interesting question. Uh, any tips for traveling? You travel a lot, any tips for traveling? And yeah, I do have a couple of tips for traveling. One is that um, traveling is uh, a pain in the neck and it can be stressful. So I think getting your attitude right is critical if you're gonna be a traveler. You have to look at it and recognize flights are gonna be delayed, uh, your flight's gonna get canceled, it's gonna be noisy, there's gonna be people around. It, look, if you let these things bother you, you are the only one who's bothered. Um, having a fit when your flight is delayed really doesn't uh, do, accomplish much. So that's certainly one thing that I would say is just understand that it's, it's, it's a stressful time. A uh, second thing that I would say is um, have something to do that makes it productive when you have those delays. So I always have work, I always have reading material, I always have things that'll make it uh, a little bit more comfortable uh, when I do have those delays. It just makes it a lot easier for me if I'm uh, prepared for those uh, in advance. And then uh, the third and final tip that I would have in regards to travel is to make sure that you are planning for your creature comforts. So that's my noise canceling headphones. Um, I have a mask that I pull down over my eyes when I want to sleep. Uh, I make sure that I've got my iPad, I've got some entertainment on it. I've always got things that make it comfortable. So plan ahead for your comfort. So three things that might make your travel a little bit easier. Hey, it's Jeff. I know I'm poorly lit. I'm in shades and everything here. Here, you can see me. It's me. Uh, but I'm actually working outside, not at my house today. I'm actually at uh, the Courthouse Coffee uh, Shop. The reason they call it the Courthouse Coffee Shop. There you go. The Auburn Courthouse in all of its uh, glory. This is sometimes my uh, my workspace when I feel like uh, getting out of the office a little bit. Hey, a quick message to sales managers out there. want to let you know that we've got a webcast coming up on uh, March 22nd. And the webcast is all about how to transform your sales meetings, how to have much better sales meetings. So if you're thinking that your sales meetings maybe aren't as good as and powerful and invigorating and motivating as they could be, just go to jeffshore.com. Right at the top of the page, right at the top, there's a place to be able to, to register for that absolutely free webcast on March 22nd. Go to jeffshore.com, sign up right now.